Barcelona is a beautiful, vibrant city full of life, culture and creativity. But it's also one of the world's most attractive startup ecosystems. Companies like Globo, Typeform and Travelpark were all founded in the city and Barcelona often ranks among the top five European startup hubs. But what exactly explains this popularity and what can a founder expect from the Barcelona startup ecosystem? Well, TNW is here in Barcelona to talk to local and international founders to find out. So I've been uh, in Barcelona for almost 20 years and uh, I've seen the city grow and I have seen different industries, uh, ex you know, exploded. Barcelona is, is, is probably one of the most powerful brand I've ever had, I've ever met. Companies come to Barcelona because of the glamour and the allure, but because there's also a place, a specific place where you can start up and it's got already that ecosystem of uh, entrepreneurship in place, which is really helpful. Every part of the city has its own character. Down here by the port in Barcelona, Tech City, it's very wide, open streets. In the, the Gothic area, it's narrow, dark, winding streets, Roman architecture and stuff. So that really gives it a lot of character. So it, it really is a city that, that, that draws you in. Almost 10 years ago, I founded the first kind of large scale uh, co-working community here in Barcelona called Makers of Barcelona. And, and I fell in love with entrepreneurship. So from there on, I just kept starting new companies. The next one was Fab Cafe, and then another one was um, a boot camp for women. And, uh, and more and more, I've, I've noticed that in the city, there are more and more resources, more and more experiences, more and more mentors. Uh, the ecosystem of entrepreneurship started to, to build up. For a first time founder, uh, I think Barcelona is a wonderful city. You have a very strong ecosystem, which means that it's going to be competitive as well, but that is something positive because you're going to have a lot of movement, you're going to have a lot of talent, you're going to have uh, reference, uh, you're going to have uh, support for institutions from, uh, you know, hubs, from uh, a lot of things. So it's, it's really a very mature ecosystem that it's uh, perfect for landing. And Barcelona um, stands very strong. It's the strongest investment hub in terms of the Spanish investment, which accounts for about 2 billion euros. Our fund has invested in 35 different, very young, uh, very early stage startups. Um, but we see that uh, Barcelona, very closely followed by Madrid, and, and then also the other regions um, have continued to grow over the last year. The ecosystem in Barcelona has changed a lot over the last six years, I would say. So we've seen it really develop from being very nascent to, to something a little bit more established. And I think from that perspective, it becomes a hub for talent. Now also post-COVID, we think that's probably gonna accelerate because eventually talent, they go after, you know, they wanna have a social life, they wanna be based in a pleasant uh, location, they wanna enjoy culture, and also they wanna have access to the right type of opportunities. And we think that eventually, that is something we can offer as a company uh, from, from, from Barcelona. I think one, one of the, the main um, positive strengths of the city is the diversity. It's not very centered around one specific industry. Um, typically, the, the, the travel tech has been very strong here because of the location. Um, you have e-dreams, you have hotel beds, you have the travel perks. You have also the gaming industry, which is very strong. It also has some of the, the big business schools and a very dynamic ecosystem. So there's some of the, the great companies um, that have been founded here, or some of the other companies like the Airbnbs, uh, Facebooks and so on, who have installed their um, headquarters uh, in, in the city. So that by itself makes it a very dynamic city, creates a lot of opportunity, creates a lot of schools for new young entrepreneurs who see that example and want to follow it. Barcelona, it's the best place to start the digital health innovation science. The network in life science is, is huge. We have also a big uh, biotech companies that are born here, are also investors that are based here in Barcelona. So since we started as a company, we, uh, have, we have been working with Barcelona Tech City and Axio. For us, they have been a, a, a big partners because thanks to them, we have been uh, in touch and also closing deals with international uh, companies. And then we have access to the, all the hospitals, reference hospitals, that they have this innovation DNA uh, and they are keen to, to and open to run clinical trials and to introduce these uh, first prototypes of a startup. I started Repant in the pandemic, which was quite challenging. My network was already pretty big uh, in Barcelona, 
but mostly internationally. But what I saw during this phase of development was the amount of interaction and networking just increased exponentially, despite, even despite the pandemic, right? So using LinkedIn, using WhatsApp, using online uh, events, which was the only thing that was taking place, that was really, really helpful. The networking scene here is really welcoming. It doesn't really matter where you're from, you're going to find an event that's for you. Here in Barcelona, you've got uh, events in Spanish, in Catalan, in English. Um, and you can pick and choose. I, I'm a, a really big fan on uh, engineer serendipity, uh, meaning, you know, meeting someone at the water cooler and discover that it's the founder of, you know, a really big company. And, you know, that kind of connections is really, really hard to foster. Through one of my network uh, involved in the textile space, we saw there was uh, a grant or a program, rather, for innovation in textile. And it's uh, giving us the tools to basically develop a pro uh, product for ourselves from zero to product in like a matter of three, four months, uh, which is really, really incredible. Big events like Mobile World Congress, the Startup Branch, which is four years from now, Smart City Expo, ISC, all come to Barcelona and they're always fascinating to go and, and explore. So it also introduces people from the outside to Barcelona. And I really believe that that brings people here as well. And they think, well, this is actually a, a great place for our company as well. So we have a very successful ecosystem and it's time now to think further. And so we need now to expand, not only Barcelona, not only a, a specific place in the city, but I would say to all Catalonia. I think we need to be able to challenge the status quo, not just protect what is already available, but be able to embrace uh, the new business models that are out there and that are willing to shine. And that could be actually become a driver for the city to continue to grow. Uh, I have to say, you know, being a founder, uh, a foreign founder um, in Barcelona hasn't exactly been easy because there's still a lack of funding, for example. Uh, and bureaucracies here is still a little kind of clunky in terms of getting entrepreneurs up and running. But I think coming out, I still think that it's it's favorable. One of the reasons why I continue <laughs> finding companies and founding, being the founder of a company uh, is precisely because the, the foundation is there. So um, if I was to give advice to a first time founder in Barcelona, I guess the first thing would be go online, uh, look at accelerator programs. There's a lot of uh, help, for example, for organizations like Barcelona Activa. The first thing I would do if you're setting it up here in the city is contract something called a HESTOR, which is a business manager. They're going to take care of all the paperwork for you. They're going to make sure your account's in order, that you're paying your taxes, that you're, you're like following the law with your employees and everything. There are many opportunities for entrepreneurs to talk to each other. So I guess talk to other people in a similar situation, which is actually what I did early on as well. Get in on the networking scene, meet as many people as you can. That's offline in the real world, but also online as well, because there are lots of groups here. And give it a go, because your chances are very high, I think, uh, at least of getting, getting going. So.